So we've done a video for you guys explaining, hey, we run three decoys typically, um, or we'll take away the males when we get later in the season and we're just going with a hen. The reason that we're just going with that hen is because the hen appeals to everyone. It shouldn't have no reason to um, run anyone off where there are times when a Tom or a Jake can run another turkey off. Another one though that we like to really key in on and it's very important and that is which way, which direction your decoys are facing. Now, if you're using something like what I have here, which is a, a unit that allows to move your decoy, you set your decoy on top of here, and what ends up happening is you can turn it around, then it doesn't matter. I can make that decoy face whatever way I want. I'm telling you right now, movement in your decoys is probably as good as the decoy itself. If you haven't tried it, it is money. Got to make sure that it's legal where you do it. But if you don't have movement, and I, I did it for years without it, then what I wanna make sure that I'm doing is on any male bird, I want that bird's head facing me or quartered to me, meaning if I'm in a blind or whatever. And the reason being is that any real turkey is gonna try to come around to the head of another male turkey. He always wants to approach and make sure that they, he can see, he's eye to eye with him. And so you wanna make sure that you have that head facing you. If it's facing straight away, he could stop where you can't get a shot or straight in line with your decoy and you don't want that. So you want him kind of quartered to you and then what are you looking for is to be able to shoot him broadside when he comes around. When it comes to a hen, if I got an upright hen, I want her facing straight away. And the reason being is because almost all toms or all male turkeys are gonna come to the rear end of a hen. That's where they're gonna mate from. So whether you put out a feeding hen or an upright hen, or you have that lay down hen, you wanna make sure that you don't put it this way unless you want your shot straight on the back of them. So you have to think about it, how you want to set it up in your scenario, but, it, but head placement does have a factor, does play a key role in your decoy. So make sure not only do you have the right decoys, but make sure you're setting them up the right way. And, if you, and the way you're gonna find out if, if you got it the right way or not is you're hunting one day and something doesn't work or it does work then note it and say, okay, I want to replicate that or I need to change something because they definitely didn't respond the way that I wanted them to. We mentioned in the other video as well that a real tail feather and real glass eyes, those are big. The other one is don't be afraid if the, the tails that, tail feathers or feathers that you're using are all roughed up and beat up, that can actually work in your favor. So just because you got this nice pretty fan on there, that can be great. But the best thing in the world, honestly, is when they're beat up because I believe it gives off that, that sign that this turkey might not be as healthy as another one and they're more likely to beat on them. If you notice turkeys are super territorial, if they get one even inkling that another turkey shows weakness, they're pounding on that turkey. We want them to pound on ours. We want them to come in. So I hope this tip helps too. Turkey, not, not just decoys, what decoys, but decoy placement.